hello there everyone and welcome to another virtual painting session. So we are going to continue to develop this painting that we started on Monday. And uh, like I always say, there is a special sale, so I'll mention it uh, first thing and then I'll mention it somewhere in the middle and then at the end I have a special sale going on during this stream. Uh, one of my uh, earlier self-portraits from this year is now available as a special sale. This special sale is also uh, special because not only do you get a uh, not only do you get this painting for that price, but you also get a free bonus painting on a sheet of canvas and in addition you also get a art print. All for the same price. Now let's get into the colors. So I actually have flake white here, no alkyd, just flake white. Yellow ochre, oh wait, Williamsburg flake white. This is yellow ochre, uh, yellow ochre, Old Holland. This is cadmium red vermilion, uh, Williamsburg, and a dash of the uh, Alkid uh, Windsor red. This is a lizard and crimson lake extra, Old Holland, no Alkid, though I might put some Alkid on that. And then I have raw umber, ivory black, Williamsburg with a little bit of Alkid there, um, Griffin Alkid. And then I have ultramarine blue. And for my medium today, I will be using a little bit of my Oleo Res Gel, which is gonna be a different medium. Because these are slower dryers, I'm actually gonna put a tiny amount of medium next to each slot. So next to each section here, I'm gonna put a tiny, not next to each of them, but kind of like a piano, I'm putting small sections of medium whenever I want to use it. And it's a gel-like medium. It is also an alkyd. It's called Oleo Res Gel by Rublev. And I hope everyone is doing all right. Um, hey, Waru Waru, uh, do you prefer mass painting when doing portraits? Uh, yes, in general, I like to work with mass. Uh, hey, Edward, I uh, just messed up my hands, uh, my wrist uh, uh, exercises, um, probably from pull-ups and push-ups uh, to excess. So I think it's just from exercising, but I'm all right, I'm all right. Um, so I have to start off with the face just so I can start to build some more of the lights here. Um, so right over here is where I'm gonna start. And one of the most obvious places to start for me is uh, right over here. Uh, so once I put in a color note here, I'm gonna adjust a few things uh, painting uh, wet onto dry. Uh, why am I changing my paints, Ingrid? Um, I'm changing the paints because the topic of this one in particular is form painting. So um, I'll talk to you directly. Excellent question. Why did I change from mostly alkyds to only uh, some alkyds and then the colors that I had before? The reason being is that I'm going to be doing form painting, which means I don't want the paint to get too tacky. But at the same time, I don't want it to take forever to dry, which is why I'm using Oleo Res Gel, which is a much faster, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. It's a much faster uh, medium made by Rublev to uh, expedite the drying process. But I will use it sparingly. It's uh, pretty much right next to each one of the, the little uh, blobs of paint here. And of course, I have some alkids in the mix too. So it's because I'm doing form painting. And as I always say, um, as you add more layers to your painting, you want to uh, introduce more medium. Now, it, it's not a must, but it, it helps with the um, fat over lean. Now, not too much of the Oleo Res Gel, but I do have the medium kind of in between, like keys on a piano. Hey, Southern Comfort, uh, Ingrid, Monique. Julie. And don't forget, just earlier today, I was actually streaming, um, not too long ago, on Twitch. Remember Twitch, I stream uh, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And right now I'm going to start off over here, see how this looks a little too gray. And yeah, I've switched, um, I'll use a little bit of Alkid as you just saw here and there but I don't want to have the paint dry super, super fast. 
And you can go back and forth between um, Alkid and non Alkid, it's fine, as long as you uh, are, you know, you're, you're aware of the drawing rates. Uh, Southern Comfort, hey, probably, uh, what do you do with all the dried out paints on your palette? Uh, these eventually I uh, kind of, like a haircut, um, I, I trim them down eventually, and when I trim them down, there's still, you know, some paint trapped in, in between that's usable. So that's what I do with that. And um, even though I'm trying to do form painting, I'm trying to fight my tendency of putting in too many values that don't need to be there. So I'm going to unify this whole section into one value and adjust the color. And I'm going to let the color and the edges do the modeling for me. Hey Marshall, you couldn't get the sound to work on Twitch. I wonder what, what that was. Um, I hope it's working here. It's strange, it was working for everyone else today. I don't know what it was. So I'm keeping the value jumps to a minimum. And now I'm going to start to incorporate, uh, see how this is like extremely light in comparison to the bulb of his nose. Now we're going to slowly start to build the subtlety into that. And um, Flake White is awesome for this in that you can use a lot of it without raising the value too much so you can actually have more subtlety more easily. Not that you can't do it with Titanium White. Um, as you've seen, that I did do that with Titanium White, at least um, for the most part. Obtained subtlety, but it's a little bit easier with um, Flake White. So see, this value is almost if not exactly the same as this value. So I'm not trying to add too much complexity. And Wednesdays is usually the day when a lot of the work gets done in the painting and then Saturday is pretty much the finishing touches which still takes some time but this is probably going to be one of the most in-depth uh, streams for this painting. Although we did manage to get a lot done on the face uh, last time. Now I'm going to change the color a little bit. Um, and the reason I have Windsor Red right next to the um, Cadmium Red Vermilion is that um, Cadmium Red Vermilion, Williamsburg, uh, is way, way slow drying in comparison. Of course, I mean, uh, slow drying in comparison to the Alkids. So what I'm going to do is do my best to make this just a color change and not a value change for the wing of the nose. Uh, thanks for the uh, the hearts, the heart emojis. And please don't forget to check out the Twitch account, everyone, that I just started. Help me, please help me reach a hundred followers. And now we're going to put in, see how this is just a color change now, we're going to put in a value change here that's going to be a little bit uh, darker and a little more pink in comparison. Raw umber is what I usually go to to neutralize and darken. And the goal here is to not to go overboard with the values, but be very selective. Oh, thanks for the uh, emojis for the the uh, hearts. Hey, Stephen. 
It's also a lot easier using unbleached titanium uh, and more forgiving as I have just recently discovered. Unbleached titanium, I can... I haven't seen it in the art store that I go to. Maybe they have it in, uh, in Jerry's. I'll definitely check that out. Uh, thanks, Stephen. Now, there's another plane here. I'm trying to... See, so you know what? I'm trying to fight my tendencies. Um, and uh, one of my tendencies is just to over-describe. So instead of over-describing with the form, I'm going to be pushing and pulling the forms until I find a nice kind of happy medium with the forms where I don't have to, uh, you know, describe every value um, and let the, uh, the, the color and the edges do the work for me in order to make the forms more readable. In theory, if you can keep the value jumps to a minimum and push the contrast between the planes, it should help the form read even, even more than the photograph. In theory. Can I do it? I don't know. We'll see. And there is the link for the Twitch, uh, the Twitch page. Again, please check out the Twitch account. Uh, by the way, speaking of experimenting with technique and materials, I'm experimenting with yet another, um, another uh, group of oil paints. Um, so I'll, more about that later. I need to experiment with it before I use it uh, for any of the streams. So I am experimenting more with. Uh, Rublev, in particular Rublev's Flemish White, uh, which is double the lead. Uh, it's um, it's got the it's like Kremnitz White and Flake White mixed together, which is pretty cool. Definitely don't want to eat it, but it's a it's a very different type of Flake White, I will say. I'm using it for one of my larger studio paintings. So we'll see how that one goes. See how this is now too similar to this? That wouldn't exist in nature. In the photograph it looks pretty much like that, um, but I'm gonna edit it. By the way, uh, I think just one more stream with these brushes and I, I should be able to uh, confirm that they are really good brushes. I usually wait to test them out, uh, test things out for a while before I um, recommend them to everyone. Another tendency I have is to is to uh, make things too red or too warm. So I'm gonna be trying to fight that tendency in this one as well. And yes, eventually we'll get to the uh, outside shapes. Eventually we'll get there. So it's not a lot of value jumps, but what I want is each plain now to be as descriptive as possible. See, I'm using a little bit of the LAO res as I go. 
one thing that a lot of artists do, um, and it's not a bad idea to do, um, is to just mix it right into the paint. And then paint like that. But I, I like to have access to the paint without the extra medium added to it. So now the nose has a little more specificity to it and I want it to look like as if someone is observing this uh, from nature and not so much from a photograph. So uh, any questions, everyone? I haven't had any questions to me. If you're just sitting back and enjoying the, the stream, let me know. Hope you enjoy the stream. Now I have to ask myself, is it a plain thing or is it an edge thing? Um, this is a plain thing from here to here. This is an edge thing from here to here. And then I also have to ask myself, is it a plain thing? Is it an edge thing or is it a color thing? This is a color thing. So I want this to be pinker and but not necessarily darker. Awesome, Monique. Hope you're enjoying your dinner. What's everyone doing? Uh, what's on everyone's easels? All right, crowd question. Thanks, Julie. Crowd question. Since uh, the comments have been a little, uh, a little uh, not moving as quickly. Uh, so proud question. What is on everyone's easel today? I've got two easels with paintings right now. So I have this one and then I have a large uh, portrait of my uh, fiance Lucy that I'm working on. What's everyone painting? Hey Betty Lewis. Ingrid. You're working on the Rembrandts? Now this is a plain thing. This is an edge thing right here. Hey Matt K, I'm doing a triple portrait at the moment of a young uh, of a young family using alkids. Awesome. Yeah, the alkids are super super helpful for um, commissions. If if you gotta move quickly. And again, all your res that I have here, this this medium has alkid in it. It's a gel medium of alkyd, boiled linseed oil, and odorless mineral spirits. That's what that is. Now I have to ask myself, is it a color thing? Is it a plain thing? Or is it an edge thing? So right here, I see it as a color thing. There's a little bit more of a pinkish tone. So same value, different color. Hey John, MCH, Seascape and Landscape. Awesome. 
And Marshall had four separate canvases with various subjects and themes. Ooh. And Jeff, between paintings, just finished uh, uh, White Mariner. And Monique still on the poster image of Project 1, restarted Project 2 for some underpainting. Awesome. Ooh, Stephen's working on a Bob Ross portrait. Good, good. Alright, so that to me was a color thing. This is a plain thing. There's a little bit of a lighter. I wanted to make this just one plane, but if. Mm, see, I'm trying to fight my tendency. Fighting tendencies here. All the extra time that I spend, that I tend to spend trying to look for various different planes, I can spend looking for, say, that shape is too low in comparison to this one kind of thing, so. Let's adjust it. Hey, Mad Moments Go. Yep, agree with you. Edward just toned the canvas, a layer of burnt umber, and a layer of magenta. Ooh, that's a nice color. It's a nice color. Hey, Kay and Maine. Good evening to you. So see, my tendency would have been to go and try to round out every little section of the nostril. And it's, if I had done that, <coughs> excuse me, I would have missed this, that the nose had to go up a little bit there. And in general, someone mentioned that I had the nose a little too long, like right at the end of the last stream. So not that I remember that, it, it makes sense. Now I see what they saw. Okay, so let's let's see now. What am I going to adjust on the the portrait? So I moved from here to the nose, and now I'm asking myself: Is it a plain thing or an edge thing that I can adjust um, in any which section? I think this is an edge thing. Now this is too sharp from here to here. So the question becomes how do you soften edges uh, because it's a little harder to do so to soften an edge you have to mix a color for that um, transition between edges and just lightly tap and see that's how you soften an edge hey Jeff uh, question is it hard to see what changes need to be made to fix a trouble spot if uh, it, it is sometimes hard for me to see what to it is sometimes yeah Sometimes the hardest thing is um, not knowing what to adjust. For me, see, I feel like the mouth is a little too far out this way, although it kind of gives her that character that she has. Um, so I have to be careful not to edit it too much. Um, I feel like the mouth may be a tiny bit too far. And once I adjust that, um, I think that will be a good time to now start to go into this little section of the hair and then move from here to all around. Edward, yep, that one plane at a time. That's correct. And you know what color I really like to mix uh, colors? Yellow ochre and raw umber. I'm going to push this over a little. So is it a plain thing, an edge thing, or a color thing? This is a shape thing, really. So 
So when it comes to drawing, it's all about shapes. When it comes to form, it's about those uh, aspects I was just talking about. Hey, Fouad. Uh, yellow ochre and raw umber for here, this section, and for here, and for here. So those darker mid tones. And I'm deliberately trying to make the skin tones lighter, or sorry, not lighter. Um, cooler than I usually paint them. Hey Charles Ward. Yeah, I can't wait to put all those colors. Hey uh, John, uh, the upper lip is more rounded. I think so, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... Good, good observation, yeah. I'm gonna make it more rounded when I get there. One plane at a time. This is an edge thing now. So that's softer, then it's gonna get sharper. Over here. So in terms of more round, I need to look at the, uh, hey, uh, Pita, oh, thank you. <laughs> Charles, you like the way the lips are, <laughs> uh, compared to the photo. Um, well, I don't know. Uh, we can do some, uh, artistic, uh, artistic, or what do you call it, artistic license. I think I can round it a little over here and then not too much. <laughs> Just a little. Just a slight touch there, and that wasn't a shape thing. And now that I have the, uh, the the lip adjusted there, this is an edge thing. Now I have to adjust that. So see, last time I mentioned that I talk to myself a lot when I'm painting, and, and then I realized everyone else does that too, so I'm not that crazy. Um, what I'm going to do is... Uh, adjust the edge and it's just an edge thing the old me would have said uh, plain 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 now I'm like plain 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 <laughs> if that makes any sense the old me would have put so many different values here to turn this instead what I'm gonna do is keep plain one plain two plain three obvious to the viewer um, and just Soften the edge in between. How do you soften edges? You mix a color for it and then you place it there and you just tap, 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 tap till it gets to be a soft edge and you leave it. Um, if you have to adjust the color, go and adjust the color. Um, but try to make the planes as obvious as possible without making it overly blocky. This is hard for me to do because I'm trying to break tendencies in order to get better at painting. Ingrid, I'm glad the lips look good. Um, it came in after a couple days away from the painting. Is the oil paint still uh, pliable or is it dry? 
So what I've done, um, uh, I'll show you uh, later which colors I'm experimenting with. Um, or I can just tell you, uh, Rublev, uh, what, what is it? Uh, crap, Flemish, yeah. Rublev Flemish White, almost forgot. Rublev Flemish White, uh, Rublev's uh, Yellow Ochre, Rublev's Transparent Mummy, and Rublev's Bone Black. I'm experimenting with those two, and uh, I'm hoping that they dry a little faster, but they're since it's a little more expensive, what I've done is um, I've taken the paints from my wooden palette, and I've put it in a little container, and I put that little container in a, inside of a plastic a plastic container inside of the freezer. That's what I did. Put it inside of the freezer. These will be dry in maybe a week. These piles of paint, but the thinner areas of paint actually dry faster. So it could end up being touch dry, like over here. Could end up being touch dry tomorrow. So if it's thinner, it dries faster. If it's thicker, build up of paint, it dries more slowly. So I hope that helps, that explanation there. Hey Ice Tech 6, oh thank you. Good question for everyone. What paints are we all using? From Ingrid. So let's let's turn that into a crowd question. What paints are we all using? For example, I'm using uh, Williamsburg, and I'm using uh, Griffin, Alkid, Winsor, Newton, I think Old Holland. So Old Holland, Williamsburg, Winsor, Newton, Griffin, Alkid. So what's everyone using? Hey, Adrian or Mouse. Oh, thank you. Saludos de aquí in um, Beltsville, Maryland. Okay, so now walking my way around the portrait this should be fine now this should be fine this should be fine let's say we now get into the hair the corner of the hair over here hey Saudi uh, so Sandu I'm new to painting I started today Oh wow, I use oil as a beginner, might be a mistake. No, no, I don't think, um, I think oil paint is good for beginners because it, you know, you don't have to worry about the drying factor. Of it drying too quickly is what I mean. It does dry of course, just much more slowly than other paints. Unless you use like what I have here, a combination of a fast drying oil paint and a slow drying oil paint. Uh, let's see. Hey, Halima. Uh, Jeff, do you try to stay away from white mixed with your colors so that the white does not cloud your colors? Yeah, actually. Um, I do. I try to keep it away from my other color mixtures. You're right. Uh, just so it doesn't, um, you know, uh, mess up the, uh, Mess up the hue. If the white accidentally got into all of the, the paint, then that could be an issue. That's why I separate the lighter areas, the middle areas, and the dark areas on the palette. See how I'm pushing the outside shape towards the cheekbone, so it's the um, negative shape pushing into the uh, interior shapes. And what I'm doing is asking myself, is it a, is it a plain thing, or is it a, 
edge thing. This right here is not a plane thing, it's an edge thing. here why did everyone get timed out K and main why did why did K and main get timed out um, hey salt skin seems to be warmer than the references that uh, intentional um, the intention at uh, the uh, skin tones here they appear to me to be a little bit uh, cooler but no I think I, I need to cool this down why did hold on I gotta figure out why did someone get yeah uh, K in Maine I know you can hear me uh, but you can't type I don't know why you were timed out Marshall why were you timed out Ooh, I don't know Halima I'm sorry I don't know why you timed them out yeah I can't yeah we can't have that happen um, yeah, so I, I gotta figure out, Halima, how to do this with the monitors, because the last time, I don't know if anyone caught it, my fiance was timed out, uh, Lucy was timed out, um, in the chat last time, and it was hilarious, because she was timed out for typing, I don't know what she was typing, um, but it wasn't, I mean, it was my fiance, she wasn't typing anything bad, uh, she got timed out. She was in the room next to me when she got timed out and I all I heard was what? <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like and now we're both asking ourselves how many people have been timed out on the stream that Didn't want to come back because she told me she didn't want to come back to the stream after being timed out um, so let's uh, <laughs> Let's be careful with that <laughs> Let's be careful with that. When someone gets timed out, let's type out why they got timed out. Number one, if they write a curse word. Number two, if they are bullying anyone and, um, you know, if they're doing anything that's, like if they're bringing up politics or, or religion or anything controversial, um, then, you know, moderators just type the reason why they were they were um, timed out yeah oh that's right I don't remember adding Halima as a Moderator, did I? Maybe I did in the past, I don't remember. Do I, Halima, do I, do we remember adding you as a moderator? I mean, I appreciate you helping us, of course. I appreciate you being here. Oh, thanks, Salt. This is where you find out. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, Mike, okay. Hey, Halema. We're cool, we're cool, don't worry. You're awesome, Halema. Shout out to you. Thank you for being in the, the live chat. I don't know what that was about. Um, but in any case, here's where you find out my people skills are not very good. Uh, which is kind of an artist thing, so apologize to everyone or anyone that I upset. I don't know what that was. You're cool, Halima, don't worry.
Yeah. And again, if anyone's watching that has been timed out, um, you know, un, un, unfairly or by accident or something, I apologize. It's human error. This happens. Like I said, my fiance got timed out in my own stream yesterday. Which, not yesterday, obviously, on, on Monday, which was hilarious. But she was a little upset, I'm not going to lie. She was a little upset, but she wasn't furious. We had a good laugh about it. I feel like I'm gonna get timed out. <laughs> I'm gonna get timed out of my own stream. <laughs> but anyway, I, I digress. All of all of my moderators here, you're doing excellent work. Um, you're you're helping us out so much. So, um, like I was saying, Harjot, you're awesome. Monique, you're awesome. Ingrid, you're awesome. Um, we haven't seen you in a while, um, but uh, Dondo, you're awesome. Julie, you're awesome. Everyone's awesome. I got, uh, uh, what's going on with all the deleted messages? What's going on? <laughs> Uh, it's all good. Don't worry, everyone. Uh, I got uh, cadmium red and uh, cadmium yellow or cadmium red hue. Uh, what's the difference? Do you see? Um, <laughs> what's the difference? Do you see what you should? Uh, okay, I uh, got a simple solution. Cadmium red deep uh, is probably one of the the best uh, primary reds. Cadmium Red Deep. I don't have it here because for me to get a Cadmium Red Deep, I would have to mix the Cadmium Red Vermilion or the Winsor Red with a, a tiny bit of the uh, Alizarine Permanent and a, um, an ex a very experienced artist was giving me advice um, earlier uh, last week and they mentioned Cadmium Red Deep. So I'm actually going to buy it at some point when I get to it. The person that uh, suggested that to me was, I believe, one of the instructors in, in one of the academies in, in, um, in Florence, I believe. But they asked to remain anonymous, so I won't say their name. <laughs> hey Kevin Maine, I'm glad you're back. Five minutes is a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna hear about this tonight. <laughs> but you all are awesome, don't worry. Don't feel bad everyone. We're all here for a common reason. We love painting. Let's not forget that. Uh, let's see. Edward, uh, what risks am I exposed to if I use Winton oil paints? Um, oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, Edward, um, uh, Winton, Winton, the student grade, the risks. Um, the first thing I want to say is that since it's student grade, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult to know what the risks are to begin with because they do add additives to the paint to make it more affordable for students. So sometimes you don't really know what's in the paint. So that's a risk in and of itself with student grade paints. But I mean, if you're just, you know, trying to do some sketches and get some experience, 
then that's perfectly fine, but I'd always suggest to use the artist grade. Artist grade and minimal colors. Uh, limited palette and artist grade is probably the same cost as uh, an extended palette with student grade. So if somebody, so for instance, if somebody's saying like, should I use 22 colors Winton or should I use, um, say, 5 colors Windsor, I'd probably go with 5 colors Windsor. Um, yep, Ingrid Cadmium Red Deep, and I'm going to be buying that one soon too. And yep, we are all very fond of our moderators, so I'm very thankful for all of you. Um, hey Stephen, I find anything with the word cadmium in it to be uh, very expensive. What are your thoughts on hues? Um, yeah, no problem, Edward. My thoughts on hues. Uh, hues are kind of like a inexpensive replacements. I've used it for instance the this one here uh, though it's as you're seeing here it's it's uh, dry. That one is the Alkid cadmium red or cadmium yellow deep hue and it's just it doesn't have the tinting strength that cadmium yellow deep or the opacity that cadmium yellow deep the not hue version has. But you can still use it and get great results with it. I would hope to think that I got an, an okay results with it. Again, I apologize with the noise in the background. Although I don't think you can hear it. Um, I think I'm the only one that can hear it. Hey Ray, Matthews. Uh, once I heard it was because of the areas where they are purchased. Oh, I think this was a response to Stephen. Hey Charles, oh yeah, the link to the reference. Um, we had that last time. I wonder, I was supposed to post that in the uh, community section. Let me see if it's still in my email. Let's see if I can find it for you. Now, let's hope I don't lose my internet. I'm trying to see if I have this link here or not. Yep, I have it. So here's the link. I just uh, copied and pasted it from Unsplash for the photo reference. I still had it in my email, so I was able to find it quickly. So um, that should be the link right there, Charles to the photo reference that I'm using from uh, Unsplash. So now even the hair is going to have planes. So from here to here, it's going to be one plane change. And I guess I can make that even more of an obvious plane change. Hey Monique, I wish I could stick to one brand of paint perhaps to save money for a consistency. Um, that's good too, but I, I don't know, I, I personally love to experiment with different paints. For instance, I would have never figured out how useful alkids are if I didn't experiment with them. Hey 
Hey Nicola, why don't you let uh, the, the background leave it like this? Um, hmm. I don't know, I, I kind of want to see all of, of those colors in here at some point. Uh, hey Gata, will you paint one still life before Christmas? We could do that. I should do 12 still lives before Christmas. Ooh, that's an idea. Although, uh, I get into dangerous territory when I mention any holidays, so... Oh, if only I didn't have to sleep. Again, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like, I don't know what's going on near me. All right, so let's, I'm adding a little bit of the L kit and the Oleo Res, or is it pronounced Oleo Res, I don't know, whatever, uh, to the um, Ivory Black and the Alizarin. I'm well aware of the super slow dryers, so Ivory Black and um, Cadmium Red Vermilion. These two are the super slow dryers, so that's why they have Alkids next to them. Keeping them in check. Now this is going to be a plain thing. I've never done paint uh, in the Venetian style. You know, I think I've done something similar to that here on YouTube. Uh, you do the transfer drawing, you do the um, the black and white uh, underpainting, then you do the full underpainting, and then you glaze it. I think I've done something like that on YouTube. Um, project one in my online classes, uh, not project one, project two um, in the online classes is uh, a complete transfer drawing process. So that's the closest to the uh, the uh, Venetian approach. So that's a plain thing right there. This is going to be another plain thing over here. Julie, uh, Julie says hello, uh, Seed He. Uh, hello, Seed He. Uh, K and Main. I think it's magical to watch the face pop as the darks and lights around the face are painted in. Uh, oh, thanks. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fun to watch, and especially wait till we get here and here. Then it's it's really gonna sing. I hope. Hey Julie, what happened here? I don't, um, the link to the image? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll post it here. The photo reference, right? If, if that's what you mean. That's the uh, the link for the photo reference right here. For this one, for the, the, the photo reference. And you know one nice quality about um, this combo of Alio 
Aleo Rez or however you say it, and um, Flake White is uh, Flake White has this like, if you lift it like this, this is a Flake White thing. If you lift it, it's like really stringy, which is a quality that I really like about it. It can be thin but feel very heavy. Alright, let's get to these darks. I'm going to change brushes. And actually, I'm going to need some alkyd for the ultramarine blue. So I'm going to get up and uh, look for my alkyd. Be back in a second. Alright, I'm back. Uh, sorry for my big head blocking the, the scene. So, I found my uh, ultramarine blue alkyd, but before I put that here, I want to show you the colors that I just bought um, yesterday. Um, I'm not going to use them yet, but these are all uh, Rublev, but the one that I want to point out is, um, so basically this is a Rublev uh, kind of a a Zorn palette. I have the Transparent Mummy. It's a very interesting color or interesting name. I'm not that fond of it, um, but I need to have more experience with it. The one to note is this one, Flemish White. And uh, just for some uh, painting ASMR, it even shook the whole um, setup. Hopefully, it doesn't knock my table down. Uh, this is Flemish White, and I think I pronounced it by something else, but. I'm not going to use it here, but Flemish White, in case you want to do research into what I'll be using later. It's a really, really thick uh, consistency of of uh, pigment, but it feels creamy. It's a very weird feeling to use. Oh, yep, and there is the link to the Twitch. Remember, I also stream on Twitch on the same days you see me here. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. But I stream there at 2, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, Danielle. Hey, see, he, where is Harja? Uh, Last I heard, he has like a six page final to do. So I think he's just doing schoolwork. He was with me on, um, he was with us in Twitch, and then he mentioned he had the schoolwork to do. No, Siri, I'm not talking to you. One sec. No, I'm not talking to you, Siri. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. You're telling me. Oh, what? You have an attitude? You just with told me. What? You have an attitude, Siri. Siri's talking back to me. Man, it, you, you know it's the future when your tablet is talking back to you. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> hey, Stephen, do I know how I got the, how it got the name Transparent Mummy? Um, <laughs> I suppose it has something to do with mummies. Um, I did read it, um, I read the description, so yeah, it does have something to do with mummies. But Rublev doesn't use mummies for that color, so don't worry. Hey, okay, and man, I know, right? My tablet was fighting back. Hey, Lucy Sarobi, uh... Uh, let's see. Hi, Pari. I missed the name of the paint. The can you say them? Uh, the name of the as you add. Uh, these. This is uh, flake white Williamsburg, yellow ochre Old Holland. K 
cadmium uh, red vermilion Williamsburg with a little dash of alkyd uh, Windsor red from Griffin uh, Windsor Newton Griffin alkyd alizarin uh, crimson lake extra old Holland raw umber uh, this is actually Windsor Newton um, ivory black Williamsburg with a dash of alkyd um, ivory black from Windsor same thing here, ultramarine blue Old Holland with a dash of Alkid from Winsor Newton. Hey, Edward, yeah, I think you're right there. Hey Danielle, uh, how do you like Twitch? Do you play games there? No, I don't really play too many uh, games. I mean, I have a PlayStation 2 and a... And a uh, you know what game I really like, uh, if we're talking about games, is uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. I have it on... Um, see, I'm old school. I have it on the, uh, the really old Nintendo 64, and I have a PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2, I play Crash Bandicoot. Oh, yep, there it is, the name. Rublev Oleo, Oleo Res Gel. Uh, yeah, Rublev um, is an excellent brand of of uh, artists, professional grade paints, just like Old Holland and Williamsburg. The thing about Rublev, um, the thing about Rublev is that they don't use, they market themselves as uh, as close to the old masters as you can get with the paints because they don't use additives, like uh, basically preservatives to the paint. Um, so one of, that's actually one of the cons of Rublev because sometimes you have to retube the colors remix them um, with with uh, linseed oil and then retube Hardrod has entered the chat Crash Bandicoot was OG that's right <laughs> yes I still have Crash Bandicoot the first one uh, I play it all the time sometimes I play the first one and see how far I can get um, you know, from the first level. I digress. Um, so now what I'm going to do, see how this is one value, another value here, and then a light. So you got one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to repeat the darkest one for this one over here. But same value, different color. It's going to be more blue. Hey, uh, Arja, yeah, we, we didn't know what, I think that was a mistake, so we, I think we got it sorted out. Uh, glad you could join us, Arja. Um, let's see, Daniel. I never heard of that game, not, not really gamer. What art store do you buy your supplies from? Uh, when I shop in person, for instance, I can only, um, uh, not only, but I can go to a plaza arts and crafts store. I was there yesterday, so hard job. I was in Northern Virginia yesterday. Um, I was shopping at the plaza arts and crafts store. That's where I get the Rublev um, materials from. But if I'm shopping online, which is what I usually do these days, I purchase from Jerry's Artorama. So what I'm going to do now is add a touch of the, um, well first I'm going to soften this edge. It's got lead, whoops, oh well, couldn't help it. Um, what I'm going to do is add 
a little touch of blue, light blue there. And when you, uh, I don't find Rublev, that's the thing, Rublev's a little hard to find. Hey, Designs by Cat Pro, I missed your uh, Wednesday on Twitch. Um, no worries, the pre-recorded should be there f for some time before Twitch deletes it. Um, ooh, I see that I can actually move this shape now. Uh, what I'll, I'll be streaming again on Saturday on Twitch. And uh, yes, you can order the uh, you can order Rublev colors from Natural Pigments. It's what is it? Naturalpigments.com. Not that I'm sponsored by them or anything, but you know, I I don't really recommend Rublev that much. Even though I did buy four tubes of it, the problem is many get really discouraged when they have to retube the oil paints, but if you're okay with retubing them, then they're really good paints. Very authentic paints. Now compositionally, I don't want this to touch the corner of the edge there. And I don't want it to touch the corner of the edge when this is framed. Um, so I'm pushing this a little in here. I don't want it to touch the edge of the frame there once this is framed. Hey Danielle, uh, did you mix up a gray green for the background? Yep, uh, kind of grayish green. Hmm? Oh. Arjot, let's be friendly to everyone. <laughs> Retubing means putting the paint back in the, the tube. So let's go ahead and mix this greenish color here now for the, uh, the leaf. Let's get into some of the colors. Okay, in main, so why does the, tu the paint need to be taken out of the tube and put into another one? Does the tube break? Uh, that's a great question. For instance, suppose this one uh, Rublev mentions it on their website uh, because they don't have any additives. They don't have any additives, so what can happen is the oil can separate from the pigment in the tube because it doesn't have any uh, what they call additives to it. So since the oil can separate from the tube, what you have to do is take the first of all you have to open up and take all the paint off of the tube add small drops of linseed oil, mix it with a palette knife like you would a molar if you're grinding up your own pigments and then put it back into the tube. That's the con with Rublev, but if you're okay with that, Rublev is a great brand to use. But most artists I find are not okay with that. Yeah, let's not pick on K. I got your back, K and Main. You you may be in Maine and I may be in Maryland, but I got your back. All right, so we're adding the. Uh, 
the bluish color here. But no one means any harm here. It's all just lost in translation. It does seem like a lot to do uh, designs by CAD Pro. That's why I recommend Old Holland or Williamsburg if we're talking about like the professional quality. And let's face it, um, I feel like I gave Winsor Newton a bad rep uh, earlier on and then I ended up using them like extensively. So Winsor Newton and all the other artist grade paints are still like excellent as well. Hey Danielle, yeah, our job, that was a rude comment to Kay and Maine. Let's all be, let's all be uh, peaceful. No, no, I think when you wrote the, like, saying duh, like, that, that's what retubing means. I think that's what they're talking about. Unless it's something else, then I must have missed it. Which is possible. I don't know. I could have missed something else. Hey, Ray Matthews. Some years ago, Winston Newton improved their paints much for the better. Oh, thanks, Kay and me. And uh, don't forget, you can purchase the special sale today, anyone that's interested. Uh, one of my self-portraits is available as a special sale. It's titled Self-Portrait Version 1. Version 2 got painted over. Uh, it no longer exists. Version 3 will not be for sale anymore. Uh, so the version 1 that we have for sale now is the special sale for today. And I'll show you that one in a second. But with the special sale you'll also get a free painting study signed by me on a sheet of canvas. And You'll also get a, oh, thank you so much, Kay and Maine. Uh, you'll also get a print with the special sale today at no extra cost. Um, thank you so much, Kay and Maine. Uh, I'm going to read your message. Thank you for your time once again. You probably and thanks to the mods who always makes the chats fun. Oh, thank you, Kay and Maine. Paintbrush in hand. Shout out to you, Kay. In Maine, thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you for your support on my YouTube channel. Your support really does help me out so much. So thank you so much for your contribution to my YouTube channel. Oh yeah, speaking of the painting that's available for special sale, this is the self-portrait that I did of myself, uh, of course, um, way back uh, when my hair was shorter. So this is before the quarantine hair set in, so my hair was much, much shorter back then. But yes, this is a 20, uh, 20 painting. Oh wow, for the retubing, of, oh thanks, uh, and the window fun, thanks Charles. So once again, Charles, with the Rublev Flemish White in hand, uh, shout out to you. Again, thank you so much for your contribution here on my YouTube channel. It really, really helps me out so much. So thank you so much uh, for the both of you for the back-to-back -back, um, super chats. I'm very, very thankful for your support. It really, really does help so much. Um, it really does. And maybe one day I'll have a uh, have a studio. 
with a window. So thank you, Charles. Hey, Carol. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Designs by CAD Pro. Okay, I heard that we know what that sound means. Now, let, whoa, let's see. We heard a sound. We heard a sound. So let's see. <laughs> what does that sound mean? So let's, ow. Let's get the iPad. And let's see. Looks like we're in for a happy dance, everyone. Once my iPad does its thing. Oh, all right. And of course, I won't mention the name of the buyer unless the buyer says that I can do so. But we are in for a happy dance. So for those of you that may be here for the first time, uh, say please say congratulations to me and the buyer. And let's let's see uh, if the buyer said I can say the buyer's name or not. Um, so remember, I'm going to tell you how to do the happy dance. So this is awesome. We have 98 of us. Um, I think 98, or actually someone just left. But we have 90 something of us here. So I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you how to do the happy dance. And you can do the happy dance uh, without holding anything really. The happy dance is you raise your hand like this. I'm going to say a phrase. My phrase is going to say, I sold a painting, and then in between I say, what? So when I do it, I say, I sold a painting, and then I say, what, in between. What you do is you raise your hands, whoops, there goes the uh, microphone, you raise your hands along with me, pretending like you're holding a painting. But you got to do this along with me, that's what makes it so much fun. And I think we have a hundred of us here live, so this is going to be the most in-depth uh, happy dance of them all. I'm almost nervous to do this. We have a hundred of us here. So let's do a happy dance, everyone. Now I'm going to hold the painting. You ready, everyone, for the happy dance? Looks like you are. All right, let's do this. And it's also very cringy, so enjoy the cringe. I sold a painting. I sold a painting. What? <laughs> I sold a painting. I sold a painting. What? I sold a painting. I sold a painting. One more time. I sold a painting. I sold a painting. That's right. That is our happy dance, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the happy dance. And I think there were like a hundred of us here watching the stream as we were doing that. Doing the happy dance. So just because we have a hundred of us here, I'm pretty sure about 50 of us already left after looking at, <laughs> looking at me. Encore. Again. Remember your part. Remember. Now let's all do this together. I want a hundred of us around the world to do the happy dance all at the same time. Ready? I sold a painting. I sold a painting. What? Whoa. You're supposed to say, um, what are you supposed to say? You say what you want to say when you say I sold a painting, but what I said last time was you say you're awesome. Who remembers that? I forgot to do that. See, I got nervous. <laughs> so what I meant to say is when I say I sold a painting, you say you're awesome. So all of you, we lost some people. We lost about 20 people, but it's all good. For the 80-something of us that are still here, you say I'm awesome. You say I'm awesome when I say I sold a painting. So that is the happy dance. <laughs> one more time, one more time. When I say I sold a painting, you say, I'm awesome. I don't mean me, I mean you. You're the awesome one. So, ready? All right, let's do it. I sold a painting. I sold a painting. What? Even though 20 people had just left, I sold a painting. I sold a painting. All righty. That was the longest happy dance. Cost me the most amount of viewers. Uh, but we're still here. It's all good. I'm happy that we sold the painting during the stream. Apologize for everyone that left because of the cringe. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. 
So yeah, let's all say congratulations to Monique uh, for purchasing the painting, the self-portrait. And I apologize to the 20-something of us, now I think 30, of us that left during the happy dance. <laughs> I went from 100 to 70-something in, in the blink of an eye. But yes, everyone say congratulations to Monique. Monique is somewhere out there doing a happy dance. I hope. Yeah, no problem, Monique. I think they they couldn't take the cringe. I kind of knew that was going to happen, but many would drop once they saw the the true Yupari with the happy dance. Oh, thanks, Carol. Oh, that's right. I have to remove the pin now. The painting has been sold. And I think this is the most attention I've paid to the background in any painting in terms of the composition in the um, in the virtual painting session. Hey Jack, oh thank you. Hey Charles, I'm sure 20 people's power went out simultaneously. No, it's okay. It's okay, I mean, if you can't laugh at yourself, I mean, me laughing at myself, then, you know, that's not as fun. I'm, I'm sure 20-something people were like, what did I just watch? <laughs> but this is the reality, I mean, this is, this is, uh, you know, real time. This is real life. And like I was saying before, if, if some someone out there knows someone that knows somebody that knows someone that can help me get uh, official portrait commissions, or if you know Jim Carrey, I'm going to make this a thing until we actually can paint uh, Jim Carrey. So if anyone knows Jim Carrey, uh, if Jim Carrey's cousin or something is here, let us know so I can paint his portrait. But of course I want to be the one to, you know, communicate directly with Jim Carrey and and uh, say, you know, Jim Carrey, I can paint your portrait. Hey, Jack. Oh, no problem, no problem. He designs by Cad Pro. You, you made that uh, in 82 minutes? You mean the charcoal drawing? Uh, yeah, that was, that was, uh, wait, two hours is 120 minutes. Somewhere around that. Uh, hey, Julie. People might have left because of the time. It's after midnight, sleepy time. Oh, that's true. If you're in the UK or somewhere where the time difference is, uh, uh, it, yeah, I can see that. Hey, Ray, how do you sell your uh, artwork on, on YouTube? I use Etsy. To sell, this warrants another color that I don't have here. So I'm gonna dig out another color, a color you haven't seen here in a long time. Gamboge like extra, um, old Holland. And yes, it's going to need an alkyd counterpart. If I can find the alkyd counterpart, I'm going to give it a dash 
of cadmium yellow, uh, cadmium yellow deep hue. Steve, we were actually just talking about this, about what the hue is. It's less tinting strength, of course. All right, let's do this. So for those of you wondering what on earth is Gamboge Lake Extra, it's a transparent yellow. It's kind of a mustardy yellow that you only really want to use uh, for specialized reasons such as uh, what we're about to do. Oh, you mean 82 minutes? No, 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 this is the second. I get it. I, I thought you were talking about Twitch. Um, this is the second pose for this one. Why did I say pose? Man, it's a long time since I've said that. Um, this is the second sitting. Hey, designs by Cad Pro. Do you save the unused oil paints? Uh, sorry if you answered that already. Uh, no problem, no problem. Uh, I usually leave the paints on here, but tell you what, uh, with Rublev, the brand that's a little more expensive, yesterday I was using them and I, I put them in a plastic container and put that plastic container in the freezer. So for the more expensive paints like Rublev and Old Holland, I, I do save them. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna leave them like that. Uh, Monique, since you did buy the uh, the special sale. You can let me know in the chat uh, which one of the prints that you're seeing on Etsy that are available are you interested in owning. Uh, all of them are signed on the, the back side. So part of the special sale means, Monique, that you will get a, uh, a, f a print free of charge. Tony Stark has entered the chat. How are you doing, Tony Stark? I'm doing well. Exceptionally well today. I hope you're doing well. Our question from Alcia. Uh, Alcia, hello. Uh, can I ask you, or are you... Ooh, we're bringing in... We're bringing in religion. Oh, I don't know. Mm, I can't. I, mm, we can't talk about uh, that. Um, but you, if you want to ask me in the Gmail, if you want to ask me in Gmail, then we can do that. But for YouTube, that's one of the rules with YouTube. It's not my rule. It's YouTube. Hey, Lucy Sarabi. I do. I put the paint in a container and in a freezer. Not the Alkids, I just left them out. That's why I piled up like this. I'm going to scrape this off at some point, but um, the more expensive oil paints, I do put them in the freezer. I put them in a container and then in the freezer. It does take a long time to to clean up the brushes, you're right. But I'm, I'm fairly certain that that's a small price to pay for how, f you know how. How fun painting is, fun and challenging. I feel like you go through almost all the emotions humanly possible. Within reason, of course, um, with with painting, there's moments of motivation, excitement. Um, in one painting, there can be excitement, motivation, sadness, um, all kinds of emotions. Hey, 
okay in Maine. Um, that's just life. I mean, some some are really. Uh... Oh yeah, there's my Gmail. Uh, yeah, some are out there, out to get me. But it's the same with anything. I mean, there's always people that are out to get you for no reason. Notice that I'm using mostly Alkid with this red. The Alkid's on the right. This is the non-Alkid, this is the Alkid. Hey Tony Stark, uh, sure you can Definitely make a suggestion. Hey Cloudy, yeah, acrylic paint is pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie. It's difficult for me too. AK and main, it's YouTube for sure, people are so mean. Oh no worries. I've I've had people that have hated my very existence from like the first year I started YouTube. But you know, it was like that for me when I was in middle school too. Growing up, there was always mean kids. It's just something we get used to. Hey K Maiden, I'm glad you're loving the red. Hey Carol, um the reason is usually that they are jealous of you of your success and talent. Oh thank you. I mean I'm uh, trying to be successful but it's a lot of takes a lot of effort. All right, Tony, really excellent job. Second, I see a yellowish hue above the lips. You, really? I used, specifically, I avoided this. I used the yellow ochre to cool it down. Do you mean in the photo reference or in here? Is this too yellow? Uh, Tony. And yeah, um, everyone, do not, uh, mon monitors, do not, do not uh, uh, block Tony. He's just giving me advice. He's giving me advice. I, I really enjoy listening to um, you know people's advice, I, and I can easily discern the difference between advice and criticism. So, I, as, all right. So, Tony, yellow shoe above the lips in the reference, or is it missing here? Oh, in the painting. Hmm. Something must be wrong with my eyes. I don't really see it, but I'm going to adjust it anyway. I'm going to trust you. Raw umber is always my solution as a coolant. Oh, you mean the filter, Tony? I'm just trying to confirm if Tony's talking about the filtrum.
Well, if it's a field trim or not, I'm just going to cover the whole thing and then adjust the values as I go. I wonder if something's wrong with my eyes. I couldn't see it. But I'm trusting everyone. on my right above the lips on my right I'm just gonna cover this whole thing as long as it's the same value I'm changing everything a little bit cooler uh, Stephen Tony is referring to a little reflected light on the filtrum reflected light on the filtrum Hmm. It's not in shadow, but okay. Let's just cover this whole thing with blue, and I'm bound to hit it at some point. And then I'll adjust it with cooler tones. Because I have a tendency of making them too warm anyway, so it makes sense to just cover it. Well, take care, Lucy uh, Sarubi. Hey, right, uh, Ray Matthews. Ochre like you above the lip to the left. I just covered it. And I'm just going to go into it with the raw umber. And if it still shows, I'm going to put the... Uh, you know what, screw it. I'm going to put the other... The white that I just bought. The um, Flemish. This is like extra, extra lead white. This is like the super lead white. But you're going to see what I'm talking about with Rublev in a second. See all the oil? This is actually going to drip. That is actually part separation of the oil from the from the uh, pigment. And a little bit of olive res. So this is super lead white. Um, this is Flemish white. I want to make sure to cover my bases here. Hey, Edward, cools make it a lot better. I cooled it down the right amount. Good. I I heard that it was also the red that I was using. I need to buy cadmium red deep. Um, I heard that it was the red. But also I had a someone suggested that I upgrade my uh, lead white, so that's why I have the Flemish white. So hopefully that looks a little better now. So Esteban, you cooled it down the right amount, hopefully. And, uh, Anthony Pace, ignore what you think. You see, adhere to the optical. Oh, good advice. Anthony's advice up there, really good advice. Uh, Ali Sija, uh, my hand, my hand's been messed up for a while, but I just recently um, decided to put a, a wrist guard on it. Um, it's just a exercising mistake, I think. It's just, it's just been... When I move my wrist a certain way, like if I move it to the right, it's like one, one little muscle, I think, hurts. I think it's just a strain or something. And it's nothing serious. I just have the wrist guard there to prevent me from moving my hand too much, or my wrist. Hey Steven, uh, light on the face is, oh my god, I am not talking to you Siri, I'm not talking to you. Okay. 
She has an ad too. Let's see. Light on the face is getting a lot of reflected indirect light from the headdress. You can tell that uh, whiteboard was used to reflect the light to the left. Oh yeah. Hmm. That makes sense. I see that. Hey Kane Main. If I'm not mistaken, as he probably paints the colors around the face hat slash clothes background, the face colors uh, may need to be adjusted. Possibly. Yeah, possibly. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Charles, that's true. Lucky. Lucky me. Alright, let's capitalize on this super lead white now. Ooh. It's like heavy, but it's very uh, viscous at the same time. And look at that, I mixed it right above the Patreon um, Patreon wording. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. So that's super lead white. Okay, let's start to add more of the color for the leaf. Or the leaves. And don't worry, we still have uh, Saturday to complete this painting. The only problem is I don't know the drying time of the super lead white. I should probably just call it by its name. The one I put here, this is Flemish White by Rublev. Hey David Mar, oh thanks for subscribing. Shout out to you, David Mar, for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. I hope that you like the you'll like the virtual painting sessions. And don't forget to check out Twitch if you'd like to see more. I uh, stream Twitch on drawings on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday as well. But the time is different. It's two o'clock p.m. to four o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Monique, the yellow I see is in the orbicularis, uh, oris, let's see. Here we on our, our right. Oh, okay, over here. Yep, I will get to, I'll, I'll probably have to add different color changes in all of these areas. Of the face. Now 
Now this is going to be lighter and more yellow. Let's see. Okay, uh, if you click the bell, you will get notifications. Oh, that's true. If you click the bell icon, okay, you will get notifications. Hey, David Marr. Uh, yes, I do have a uh, Instagram. I was supposed to post to it right before this, but I forgot. Um, I'm trying to be more diligent about it. Uh, the Instagram is um, my name and then the, the word fine art. And I'm using the underpainting uh, color or the raw umber color here to help me gauge the composition if I want these two areas to be here or not. I think I do. I'm glad you left the red and the greens. Uh, let's see Esteban. Question, do you do you try to balance very oily paintings for drying time like adding alkyd? Yeah, I do. I do try to use the alkids to expedite the drying. Oh, thanks, uh, Kathy and, and Kay. So I believe compositionally that this works. Like this is a vector that goes in this direction. This is one that goes in this direction. This is one that goes in this direction. And all of it kind of frames the face uh, better. Even basically Flemish white is a is opposed is the opposite end of the scale compared to titanium white in nearly all respects it is more according to a historic recipe from from the 19th century it does have walnut slash uh, linseed that is true definitely check out the comment there and check out the Patreon for the online classes and the live stream tier that is part of the online classes. So the way the online classes work, they start at $10 a month, it gets you access to all of the pre-recorded lessons. Um, upgraded from there, you can join the live stream tier at $20 a month, which allows you to watch all of the lessons as they are created. New lessons are filmed every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also have Zoom tiers available now as well. All right, let's cover this now, the dark. And I'm running out of the Alkyd, so I'm going to have to put more of it. I'm balancing the Old Holland, the Old Holland Ultramarine Blue with the Alkyd. Ooh, I just mm, used the wrong brush. Hold on a second. Wrong brush, wrong brush. And I gotta say, I really like these brushes. They're very inexpensive, the ones that I recently bought. So I think maybe one stream after this I'll make the Amazon 
the links for it. Oh, thanks, Ingrid. I'm glad you like the colors. The main objective is form with this painting, so I'm definitely trying to put more form into the background, too. Okay, and Rain, glad that you are really enjoying this painting. Yep, yeah, um, maybe we can make the link as soon as the next stream for these brushes. But I'll tell you what they are. I mean, you don't necessarily have to buy them from Amazon. You can get them from anywhere uh, that sells them. Qualita Filbert by Creative Mark. Qualita, Q-U-A-L-I-T-A. -A. Very inexpensive, meaning not expensive, which is what I like. Hey Ray, how do you deal with someone who commissions you to do a uh, to do a work who believes you should use pure white or black? Huh. I don't think I've ever had someone say you must use pure white or black. Um, that would be a a conundrum there. You mean only a monochromatic painting? I mean, I would do it. I mean, I I need the money. I mean, if you someone tells me that they want me to do that as a commission sure the important thing about commissions is to have a good relationship uh, with the client um, make sure that they're happy uh, send them images progress images or if it's you know just virtual send them the picture once it's done and if they don't like it then refund them I've already had to do that once, so it's it's not the end of the world. But the best thing really with commissions is in in person because a lot is lost in translation trying to, you know, converse about business on uh through emails. Hey, Dr. Harris, how do you do commissions? Do you have to take the photograph yourself? Question mark, because the one I would like you to paint uh, uh, lives in a different country. Usually, yeah, I would like to take the pictures myself. As I was saying, I wanted to paint um, Jim Carrey. And let's just be positive and say one day I will get to paint Jim Carrey. <laughs> um, and for something like that, I would you know, meet him in person, given this whole pandemic thing is over, and uh, take the pictures and do a sketch from life, and then start the painting from the pictures, work in the middle of the painting having Jim Carrey pose, and then return to painting from life, so having Jim Carrey sit there, for the finish of the painting, for the the, just the final touches. Now for commissions that are strictly online, meaning say suppose someone commissions me from another country, I would have to look at the photo references and approve them before taking on the commission and then I would send, I would have to send an image, uh, I'd have to send an image at least a week later for the progress. So I'm giving you advice on how you would do it and what I would do. Hey, I'll see it. Uh, you probably do. 
Do you get a Discord account? A Discord? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I have a Discord. I might. My uh, fiance does a lot of the social media stuff for me. Like for instance, she created the Pinterest. She created the Facebook photo reference group some time ago. So I'm gonna have to ask her about that. Oh, thanks, Stephen. Uh, but I will say, um, don't ever do Discord. Okay. Very adamant there. I see, I see. I must say, everyone, doing commissions strictly from photo references. I had one recently, uh, someone that had recently passed away from the virus, unfortunately. I had to do that commission in three days at the same time I was doing this. Uh, so a lot of work, not much sleep. I managed to get it done. They loved the painting, um, which I was very honored. Uh, but it would not have been possible without Alkit. So a lot of times you have to think about um, the the drying time when it comes to commissions because sometimes you you have to create the painting much faster than uh, you normally would paint. So that's another thing to consider when doing commissions. Hey Tony, sorry I missed your stream. Uh, feeding the uh, friend kids or grandkids, no problem. No problem, buddy. Just painting along here. Hey, Mariah. I like this. You're probably talking about Jim Carrey and, uh, and the portrait. Positive affirmations. Yeah, let's make it a possibility, everyone. Let's do it. With enough outreach, I think we'll reach Jim Carrey. But who else do you want me to paint? Do you know any... Do you have any actors, actresses, celebrities, or someone you think I should paint? Of, of course I'd have to meet them to take the pictures to paint them. I need a little bit more algae to yellow. Hey, can mean. I uh, can't in Maine. At least you do commissions. I loathe them. Haven't had a ton, but the stress is so high in doing them. You know, um, with commissions, I am very, very careful about that. So this is the drawing template that I posted for my online students on the new Facebook group that I made for, or that my fiance Lucy made for them. For a commission, I'd probably start like this. Um, get those outlines there. See that? That's almost like a barb drawing, those lines. That's what I would do for a commission because the likeness is such a huge thing. Hey Edward, can you imagine a painting, uh, Jim Carrey, and then someone buys a painting and then you have to do the, the happy dance with them? Yeah, no problem. I would love to. I don't think I would like to do a commission either. Too much pressure. I like commissions. I mean, I like the pressure of the commissions, though. I'd screw up sometimes, though. I I screwed up pretty bad with one, uh, and I refunded the client. I, uh, yeah, I messed up pretty bad. And it, it happens. It's, it's like anything in life. It's not always going to be perfect.
Painting George Washington, yeah. But I'm interested in the people that are still alive. Uh, people that are current. Although not that I know much positive things currently, but yeah. I would love one day to be able to do an official commission. Like paint a senator or something. A, a judge. Like a big life size painting with still life in it and all kinds of awesome things. Oof. That's one of my dreams. That's one of my dreams come true. You know, when I was buying these Rublev tubes um, at the checkout, the cashier was like, oh yeah, someone just came in here and bought all of the Rublev tubes. And they had to do, uh, they told me, they were like, they're doing this huge commission of, I'm not going to say, but um, I think it was starting, last name starting with a P, rhymes with O-C. Uh, first starts with Pell, and then first name starts with an N. Maybe you can figure out who it is. Um, and man, that was, I was sitting there buying my paints barely affording those four colors and then somebody buys the whole Rublev thing and I'm like man you know one day I'll get there I'll get there it's motivation local uh, figure sh uh, sheriff like a sheriff yeah hard job that would be great. Harjot, we should meet up at the plaza one of these days. Since you're in uh, Northern Virginia. I mean, obviously the pandemic is a thing, but one of these days. Hey, Tony. I think the flower rose thing could use more temperature to key it up. You know, I think, I think you're right. I know you're right. Um, let us do that. Thank you, Tony. Tony's got her back here. Let's get a brush. What I need is a clean brush. So let's get this brush. ADD365. John, is that, is that your username? Uh, yeah, the special sale for today has been sold. Lucky me. One of myself portraits. Oh, by the way, Monique, I missed your comment. Um, you can choose which print uh, if you want to let me know, or else I can just choose one at random. Because with the special sale, you also get a free print. And I think you already have warmth, the painting warmth, so. Um, there's the still life one. I think the still life one might be the, the one you want. Yeah, does somebody know Jim Carrey? Contact him, contact him, I will paint Jim Carrey. I will paint Jim Carrey, I will be, you have, I have the biggest smile on my face. Um, Oh, let's see. I have the biggest. I'll have the biggest smile on my face. I just got your email, Monique. So what did I do wrong with the mouse? Let's see. Let's see. Ow! Hold on. Oh. I don't see that, but I'll adjust it. Thanks for pointing that out. All right, so it appears I have to fix the uh, tonality 
Not the tonality, the uh, the hue. Now let's put in this Flemish white, the super lead white. Ooh, that looks too cold for me, but if it looks right to you, let it be. We will let it be, we'll see. Does this look better? You still, is the yellow still there? I covered it with basically almost like a blue gray. And that was like the first thing I painted today. <laughs> the first thing I did was make a mistake. Yeah, I mean, if someone knows Jim Carrey and can help me um, contact him and paint a portrait of him. Because the way I like to do this is I like to know who the person is and contact the person that I'm going to paint them for those kind of paintings. Oh, thank goodness. We got rid of the, the color that I had messed up. So, good, good, good. And again, I'll, I'll adjust all this. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave it like that. <laughs> Edward Soto, no mistakes, just happy accidents. That's right. No mistakes, just adjustments. <laughs> That's a good one, Mike. No mistakes, just adjustments. Hey, Tony, uh, use a palette knife for the red. You got it. I'm gonna need more alkyd for that. Because as we know, if I use palette knife of the, uh, hmm, where is my red? Oh. If I use palette knife of the non-alkyd, man, let's just put the tube in there. Make it interesting. Now I'll get the, I lost my good palette knife. The one I've had for like ever. It's in the studio somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Now had I done that with cadmium red vermilion, this would dry like next week. And I'm not you know, I can't wait for this to dry in a week. So some spots are now much brighter red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not going to put the the slow dryer on there. <laughs> so does that look better? The um, the brighter red there. What will also help is some color relationship. So if I paint the red here and contrast it, that will also help. I suspect. <laughs> nice one, Uncle Sixty. ADD three six five two. Which state are you located in? If you're in lockdown, how has that affected your ability to see other artists, meet clients, and grow your business? Great question. Um, 
Maryland right now, where I live, is not, I don't think, I think we're on like stage three or something, reopening. I don't know, someone can correct me. Um, how has it affected me? I have not seen my art friends since like, whew, uh, I want to say since January. I don't think I've seen them since January or February. January or February of 2020. I haven't seen them in that long. Um, and I miss them. I miss them. But how has it affected my um, art business? I want to say it's helped me in a way because I stayed home and all I all I did was work. All I do is work. Um, before I used to go out more often. Um, in general, I don't really go out anymore. I don't even stay in the shopping shopping centers that long like I just go get what I need and get out so I think it's helped me in a way with my productivity oddly enough you know that's a good that's a good group question crowd question for everyone yeah crowd question for everyone oh wait hold on let me read Tony's question uh, alright Tony for the side of the red cool it down it'll create a nice tension between the hot red and the shadow. Okay, let's see. For the side of the red, cool it down. It'll create a nice tension between the hot red and the shadow. Mm, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Good eye, good eye. Although I put a value in there, but I'm trying to add a little bit of a cooler note surrounding it. I'm also going to cool this down. So I'm going to take your idea and hopefully run with it. So let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, Uncle 60, lockdown made me crazy enough to become a painter. It does take a certain crazy, doesn't it? Uh, we all know that feeling. So while I'm adjusting this section that Tony uh, recommended us to adjust. Crowd question, group question. How has the pandemic affected your art career or your art creating in general? Group question. And so for me, it has basically separated me from all of my painting friends since like January, February. Uh, I used to run a portrait painting session, that's gone. I used to teach portrait painting classes in person, that's gone. Uh, but the trade off really is that I'm in the studio all the time working. So it's kind of increased my productivity uh, in that regard. Wow, when you mix the uh, when you mix the F Flemish Flemish white, the super lead white with Old Holland ultramarine blue and a little bit of Alkid, it almost looks like uh, lapis, the genuine ultramarine. Oh wow. Make the values subtle. Okay, so I'll make the values subtle, more subtle over here. Oh, thank you so much for the brew money. Uncle 60, everyone is so generous today. Thank you so much for your support on my YouTube channel. Uncle 60, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, it really, really helps out with the um, YouTube channel it helps out with the studio that super chat right there can grant me another tube of oil paint 
Uh, it can also help me get more Venetian medium, medium in general. Uh, so thank you so, so much for your support. And everyone that has sent me a super chat today, thank you, thank you so much for your support on my uh, YouTube channel. You know, I might actually be able to buy Spike Lavender again now with all of your support in the super chat. Spike Lavender is the, of course, a safer alternative to uh, mineral spirits. Well, thank you. Hey, Edward, it was good until classes started, and I've been like three months without painting at all. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, that's another thing. I miss going to museums. I, mi I really miss going to museums. And again, thank you so much, Uncle Sixty. Oh, there I go, trying to warm things up again. Trying to fight my tendencies. So make the values subtle. Okay. Trying to listen to what Tony said. I think I'm going to let this red go off the page. Like it does. Not the page, but the... Um, make the red go off the frame. Hey Ray, can you use turpentine? It gives me an allergic reaction. I used turpentine for a while. Um, I don't quite, I don't dislike it, but I can only use it sparingly uh, because we know the health hazards with it and I'm a little worried about the alizarin if I use a lot of alizarin here so I'm gonna put more alkyd for the alizarin so now we have an alkyd alizarin and it's just not as deep as the old Holland alizarin but that's fine I can balance between the two And of course I'm going to be editing the picture because I'm going to let this go all the way, all the way down. Not like you're seeing in the picture. I'm editing this. Hey Edward, I honestly want to go to a museum that's like two hours away from where I live. There's a portrait there I want to see with my own eyes. I really want to go to uh, the Met again in New York. But we know how that's all shut down now. Hey Jeff, I didn't know that there was a Monet that was going to be for sale. So yeah, how has the pandemic affected your your art, your arts making? That is the crab question, everyone.
Hey Jack, what about the MoMA? Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, the uh, Museum of Modern Art to visit. I don't think I've been there. And while I have this reddish color, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, tone in here. So one thing I really like about alkyds is that they don't uh, sink in. So we're going to see if the colors sink in at all. Hey Jack, uh, made more art since this since the virus. I'd say I, I have two actually. Hey, parting missed the pandemic affected me by inspiring an art. Oh, wow. Hey, Monique, what's the one painting that stops you in your tracks when you see it in a live museum? Rembrandt self-portrait, uh, the one in uh, National Gallery in DC. He definitely captured his soul in that one. Like you could feel the tension that he felt. Definitely Rembrandt self-portrait. Stephen, it made you paint every day. So it seems like everyone increased their painting uh, with the pandemic. You did a painting, Miss. You did a digital painting about washing your hands. Has everyone else's hands dried up, like for, with all the hand sanitizer? I mean, my hands are all kinds of crusty now. Like they were, they were not as uh, as. Uh, crust delicious before the uh, hand sanitizer. But that's a great uh, painting idea there. A uh, painting mist. Hey Kay and Maine. Uh, oh, you're responding to Monique. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, awesome, Julie. Made you focus on watercolor landscapes, but now uh, learning uh, portraits. You will learn it. You will. If you enjoy it, you'll learn it. I'm trying to figure out what the subtlety thing is that Tony was talking about. Tony, are you still here? What? Did that fix that? I put some of the blue. I feel like I, hmm, I gotta, I gotta look at this for. I think I made it too, too blue. And I feel like that, I think I know what you mean. I, I only see it really when I flip this over. So don't worry, I'll put it back. It's just, again, when I paint, uh, when you're seeing me paint, this is a, uh, um, so for instance, now you're seeing it, like, this is the 90 degree for me. The painting is at a 45 degree so that you can see it with less distortion because my main camera is right above my head. At, uh, well, not right above, it's like five feet above my head. Hey Tony, uh, do you know Matt Zoll? He's a buddy of mine. You know, oh, I know Matt Zoll. Yeah, I know Matt Zoll. 
Cool. How, how do you guys know each other? Zoom up the reference. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm curious. How do you know Matt Zoll? I know him because I was running a portrait. Uh, if you know Matt Zoll, then you know Paulden, my teacher. I was running a, f a figure painting group there. Paulden's figure painting group for a while. So here is the picture zoomed. Obviously you can tell that this is not the same as this. This is uh, referenced from this. Uh, but yeah, there's the, the picture a little bit bigger for you, Tony. I'm going to bring it back to the size it was. I'm going to do my old magic trick. Let's see if I can do it. Do you remember this? Oh, 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 oh. It's lagging. There we go. <laughs> it lagged a little bit, but that was my magic trick. Hey Tony, uh, yes, I used to teach uh, Atelier in uh, Loudon. Oh wow. Yeah, Tony. Um, so you know Paul then, then right? He is my teacher. He teaches at the school, Matt's school, the Zoll Studio. Harjot went there too. And you said you know Jim Carrey, right? <laughs> I think you can uh, help a portrait painter get a uh, painting commission. I don't even want to paint Jim Carrey. I don't want his money. I want the, the opportunity to paint him, although I would love to have more money, but I would love the opportunity to paint Jim Carrey or someone, you know, of his, of his uh, notoriety to add to my portfolio. That's what I really want. I want to add to my portfolio. You know how Sargent painted the Rockefellers? Sargent painted, um, he, I don't know, but he, Nelson Shanks painted, um, uh, Margaret Thatcher, Nelson Shanks painted, uh, I think he painted, uh, some presidents, which I'm not gonna mention, because, you know, uh, Nelson Shanks also painted judges and all of that. I want to get to that point. You were invited to to uh, Jim Carrey's show. I cannot wait to end this uh, once the stream. Actually, I I cannot wait to tell my uh, fiance. You know, I just talked to someone that knows Jim Carrey uh, online. That'd be so cool. And yes, yeah, some of her hair is showing here, so I'm gonna have to adjust that I'm gonna have to be very uh, selective about this how I make the ear show Hey Tony, if you're not done with it, the shadow goes down around the flower. Uh, let's see. Yeah. The shadow here goes down around the flower. It's a bigger flower. You are invited. Oh, okay. <laughs> the moderator was quick to, one of them was quick to say that you knew him. Oh, okay. But that's cool, you know Matt Zoll. He, um, I, I know Matt Zoll too. His still lives are, like, really, really uh, dimensional. Up, 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 okay, hold on. 
Let's cover this now. This is what I call uh, painting charades. <laughs> Trying to figure out. It's, it's quite fun. Okay, let's see. In the shadow. Taking a wild guess. You mean here? Hey Steven, I've seen Nelson Shanks' Princess Diana portrait. Oh wow, you've seen it in person. Ooh, I'm so jealous. I wish I could see it in person. Somebody want to fly me out to the UK? That's where, okay, I just took a wild guess, but, okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you, uh, Tony, for pointing that out. Paul in the, uh, he's, I can't remember where his parents, his, his parents are from, but yeah, I think we're, we're talking about the same person. Oh wow, I'm gonna look at that email in a second. Alright, is this what we're trying to get at, Tony? Moving it to the right. And I can't forget the a little bit of skin tone that's showing there. Yep, that's where his his uh, parents are from. A fantastic painter and teacher. I learned a lot from him. lower thing. I feel like I should just omit the ear. It's just gonna be a brush stroke really. A brush mark. I feel like the face doesn't really need it so I'm gonna minimize the information there. Yep, I'm gonna minimize it. Barely noticeable. What in the hard job? What are you doing? What happened to Tony's message? Yeah, no hard job. He was talking about Paulden. He knows uh, Paulden and Matt. Tony knows uh, Matt Zoll. Whoop! And Paulden. Ow. Um, you know our our painting uh, crew from Baltimore. I made it better than expected. Oh, good, good. I'm glad, Tony. <laughs> so yeah, Tony, definitely uh, uh, send me an email. We can talk through the email. Hey, good mood. Thanks for your comment. Good mood. I really like your username good mood you put us all in a good mood i really like your username welcome to the stream shout out to you hmm you need to 
try to draw the mm, mm, what is that modulus su if it's something in here I'm, I'm gonna get to it except for I don't want to put this green strand black and white the brown makes her top lip look like a fur coat <laughs> okay well, okay well yeah we'll make it more more pink hey good mood when I joined this I thought it was a scam what uh oh YouTube scam no no it's not a scam virtual painting session Alright, let's let us let's add a splash of pink. Ooh, too much. Hey Tony, you would like to stay anonymous? Oh, that's all good. I met someone on Twitch that wanted to stay anonymous the other time, so no worries. It's not the first time I've heard that. It's all good. But that's cool that you know uh, Matt Zoll and Paulden. Uh, small world, I guess. Did anyone else think that her upper lip looked like a fur coat? I'm trying to add the the pink here to make it less less fur coat ish. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Monique. And thanks for explaining why you removed the comment. Uh, no, I wouldn't write that. In the U.S., that'll get us in trouble. But no, I don't do that. Not the top lip, the top what? I'm trying to figure out. Her top, this? I think it is a fur coat or some kind of fur. This is a, it, it is some kind of fur thing. So that is a correct statement, I think. Oh, the underpainted jacket. Thanks, Kathy. I oh, think Nicholas. Mm, yeah, this is underpainting. So I'll continue to cover this and then we'll get to that and then the details. And that should be a good point to let it dry. But hey Victoria. So just a few planes, so this is going to be one plane right here, as someone told me. You get four tonalities, everything else is in the edges. And you render, or you model with color and edge. So one, two, three, and four, and that's all. 
this is a continuation this dark shape is a continuation of the darkest dark so keeping the values very simple hey hard job what did I, what did I miss what in the, what did you type there hard job What is going on in the comments? Now this is an edge thing. So you ask yourself, is it a plain thing or is an edge is it an edge thing? This is an edge thing. So in order to adjust the edge, you want to mix up a color for that edge. Don't just automatically blend it. See how I mixed up a color for that edge. So now we're starting to get somewhere with this painting. It's taken a while, but starting to get somewhere. Wait, don't add wood brown. What did I what did I add? I'm confused. What's going on in the comments? I look away for like five seconds and there's already something going on in the comments. Now this is an edge thing, still keeping those values differentiated. What did I miss? In the comments, I don't know what I missed. So everyone watching this as a, as a pre-recorded video, or those of you that have watched these streams as pre-recorded videos, I hope that the dialogue that we have here during the stream, I hope that you find it to be um, fun to listen to. It's, hey Tony, never mind, it worked. Okay, I'm glad it worked. <laughs> I was going to paint over the brown. I think you meant when I put that plane. I was going to paint over it. I put it in as a transitioning plane. Blonde hair is a little tricky because you need to have cools and warms like right next to each other. And they go to very, you know, they go to extremes. <laughs> nice one, Ray. Uh, thanks, Kay and May. And I gotta say, this Flemish white is so nice. The super lead white is what I call it. It's got lead on lead. Which, by the way, is not dangerous to paint with. As long as you're not picking up the paint and putting it on your uh, your your uh, wrap or your sandwich and then eating it just because there's lead in the paint there does not make it dangerous just keep it away from your food and drinks and you're good <laughs> hey Tony what happened? What did, what did what did what happened? He 
Hey Julie, who's Tony Stark? Someone that knows a lot about uh, values and planes and colors and anatomy and also knows some of the painters that I know in the Baltimore area. But who is Tony Stark? We may never know. Who he really is, his identity, is a secret. Alright, how, how are you liking the hair? I put in more planes for the hair. Does it look like hair? At least I hope it's starting to look like hair. Let me know. Hey Julie, I don't know. I've missed a lot too. Your true identity is Iron Man. He has come back from the underworld. Arja, you didn't have to delete that. <laughs> you didn't have to delete it. Arja. Why did you time him out? What the heck? Now he's going to be gone for five minutes. Tony, don't take it personal. Tony, don't take it personal. I know it's only five minutes. At but five minutes does seem like a long time. Like I said, Tony, last time, in the last stream, my own fiance got timed out. <laughs> and she told me, man, five minutes has never felt so long. Um, no, he's not, he's not bullying. Is he? He said one of the mods is a troll. He didn't say which. But I mean, I don't know. It could be lost in translation. I don't know. Talk to me, hard job. What's going on? No one said anything about the hair. Um, serious question. Um, what, is this starting to look like the hair? Uh, because I put in a lot of planes. Okay, nope. let's keep it chill. I was trying to ask about the hair. Hello. Hello. This is a painting stream. Uh, the hair is... Come on, somebody tell me. Is the hair awful? Is it? Does it look messed up? Like, does it not look like, like blonde hair? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm actually gonna have to type something with my busted hand. Hold on. Ow. Hey Jeff. Oh good. I'm glad that the hair is looking like hair. Good, good. Is that this? This gives me concerns. Um, the hair because it's complex and I put in a lot of things and I was kind of guessing to try to get the look of the hair so if the hair looks like hair now I can move on okay good good okay this still looks a little bit too frozen to me. Sometimes hair uh, can look like icy if it's too predictable, if there's not enough undulation in it, um, not enough variability. Oh good, thanks uh, Kathy. And don't worry Tony, the five minutes will be up soon. I don't know what was going on. And again, Hardjot, if you ever want to talk about all this stuff in, in person, we can meet up at the 
plaza one of these days. Like I said, I was just in Northern Virginia yesterday. No, no hard feelings, hard thought. We cool, we cool. I'm glad you like the different tonalities in the hair, Julie. How close are you to the heart, uh, to the, uh, the plaza in Fairfax, hard dot? So I think you said you're in Loudoun. Okay, so now it looks less like, like a block of ice, like before it was too rigid. Hey, me, you, me and you and I. That's a be part of the hair. It looks like you can run your fingers through it. It has movement. Oh, good, good, good. Oof, I'm glad. Oh, thanks, good mood. Your dad high risk. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem, hard job. Yeah, when the, when the whole pandemic thing ends, we can all do some meet and greets. That extra shape, I think, is what it needed. This, so it wouldn't feel too rigid. Uh, Inger, Tony was put on timer for five minutes, so <laughs> we're waiting for Tony. He has made a return. <laughs> Tony's back. <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of the fur coat. I know that some like it, others hate it. Uh, but in particular, I think that the fur coat, the underpainting that is, needs to be covered. I'm going to edit this. Her arm is clearly out. Um, I, don't, I don't want it to stay like that. So I'm going to adjust it. Just compositionally, I feel like it needs to be adjusted. Oh, thanks, Ray. I'm glad that you like the hair. And we'll also put a little gradation of tone in the background, too. So, yes, I'm editing the background. Grandma Moses, your painting is much better than the photo reference. Oh, thank you. Hey, Tony, her neck shadow is looks undone. It is undone. I haven't really gotten to that. Mm, perhaps it looks undone because there's a lot of like uh, underpainting there, but I think that's something that I'd have to get to on Saturday to take it to a completion. The fur coat, um, I don't know. Oh, I'm glad that you like the, the change in the, the shoulder there. Um, me, you, and I, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Hey, uh, Steven and Bruno, oh, no problem. Welcome to the stream. I'm going to paint the pearls and then everyone in the comments uh, let me know if you want me to keep that fur coat look of the underpainting. It seems like everyone likes the underpainting fur coat look. Of course I can adjust it to make it look like um, like fur coat. Or I can paint it like it is in the picture. Uh, just a darker value over here. 
let me know and while you're doing that I'm gonna paint this And yes, the decor is going to be uh, different from the photo reference. So we got no fur coat, no fur coat. And we got a, okay, so we got we got some suggestions for no fur coat, so we can do that. Which one, Jeff? Do you mean the no fur coat or fur coat? Hey Tony, what's the uh, process to become a moderator? Usually uh, attending a couple streams, but I think I'm also going to uh, make sure that to be a, a moderator, the other moderators have to uh, approve. I think I should do that. I'm pretty sure you are well qualified to be a moderator if you're interested. You're very knowledgeable in painting. Hey Steven, you like the fur coat? Uh, Tony, you like the, the, the Mexican outfit? Yeah, I love those colors. That's the uh, nationality of my my fiance, uh, her family. Black and white, like the fur coat. Hey Tony, you see the hair highlight, push it down and then thin it. I think I know exactly which one you mean. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know why I just switched to one of my older brushes. Wow, I can really feel the difference now. Mm-mm, mm-mm, putting that brush down. Nope. Yes. Switching to the new brushes. And now let's drag the highlight down and then thin it. I think it's black and white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, better keep it uh, to keep it festive. That's right, Monique. So add some oleo res, a little bit of game soul to thin it. Hey Steven Bruno, uh, 
pearls are very hard for me to do in oil oil paint. It's all a matter of light, light and dark shapes, just like with the uh, portrait. But they are difficult, I agree. Hey Tony. Oh good, good. I saw it. As soon as you mentioned it, I, I was like, oh, that, that's gotta be what he means. Well, thanks for pointing that out. And as I said, Tony, you're definitely qualified for me to be a moderator if you're interested. Now let's put these little designs nondescript designs and we're gonna make it gray I wish I could make them uh, I wish I could reference these uh, if you know what I mean from Dragon Ball Z but no I won't there's the right number too one two three four five six seven What happened, Harja? Let's see. I think the pearls need a light reddish from the shirt. Mmm, yeah, a reflected light. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Put the red. Uh oh. Uh, just like Monique said, I gotta be careful that it's not, uh, it doesn't look too holiday. As we know, it's difficult to sell anything uh, in one, you know, what's, so it's one holiday reference. It could be the, mm, it could be that that's, that's doing, that's creating that look. Maybe if I invent some like purple in the, and like purple flowers in there, that might change that look. Hey, black and white. Um, I, I've been working on uh, linen that I just got. Uh, double oil prime linen with larger paintings. But I like the way that these panels handle. I don't think this one needs too much of a reflection, so. Very light. Oh, goodness. The hat is creating the festive look. I'm in trouble. If that's the case, nobody's going to want to buy this painting on Saturday. <laughs> or maybe someone will, I don't know. But remember, on Saturday, this will be the painting available at special sale. First come, first serve. Yeah, festive wintry party is good. Hey, Ardish, oh, thank you. Hey, Ray, yeah, cotton canvas is good. Especially if you uh, put a few extra layers of gesso and sand it. It's a really good surface. I couldn't afford linen for years. I only recently bought my first roll of it. She 
Looks like she's standing beneath the flower bush. Oh, good, good. Thanks, me and you and I. Thanks for the heart, uh, Artish. Okay, all right. Now let's get rid of the fur coat because it seems like everyone didn't, most didn't like the fur coat. Hey, Tony, I think you can pull more red, pull more red flowers, so invent them, right? Um, is that what you mean, Tony? So invent more red flowers throughout? So it's not just one random flower? Yeah, definitely seasonal is better than holiday specific. Because that wasn't the intention of this one. Oh, wait, okay, before that, um, let's cover with mostly Alkid the fur coat. Hey Tony, oh okay, yeah I'll get to that in a second, I'm just trying to cover the fur coat. Because it seems most didn't want the fur coat, so we'll take it out. Anything that'll help this painting sell on Saturday. Alright. I'll leave some of the underpainting just because I don't know. I like that look. As I said, Wednesdays are usually the longest of these streams. Because a lot of the heavy lifting happens on Wednesday. Hey, me and you and I. Oh, sorry. The, most definitely didn't want the uh, fur coat. <laughs> sorry, me and you and I. <laughs> we got rid of the fur coat. Ah, what am I doing? Why did I not cover that section? I'll leave one little section of... Yeah, I'm editing this for sure. One little section of underpainting here. And then we'll add those extra flowers. Now we can always change this um, if someone really doesn't like the dark that we put here. But I think it actually helps to draw attention towards towards the face. Now let's put in the um, the red. Yeah, I, I'm gonna put three. I'm gonna put one here, a smaller one, and then a tiny one. I'm gonna sneak it over here. Sneaky, sneaky, right over here. Hey, Monique, um, uh, what happened? Uh, the stain. Here, Adisha. Oh, I'm glad that you loved the, uh... <laughs> I love that you love the longer streams. Wednesday is definitely the, the longer one. Saturdays, I usually try to have most of it done. So that all I have to do is do the fine details. Saturday, we're definitely going to add some glazes here for fine details and then maybe adjust some things around here. And then of course this will be available 
as a special sale. And Tony wrong spots. I thought that here and here would go well. For example, I'm going to put the one that I was saying over here. It works? Okay, good. A petal could fall on her coat. Oh yeah, we can do something like that. Hey Charles, she looks like she's wearing a, a worth of leaves on her head, like a forest spirit. Love it. Oh good. So you know we like odd numbers. So it's going to be three. little lighter and brighter up here hey Tony oh okay the other flowers should be subtle if the lights hit them, bring in the temperature. Ooh. I see. So the other, okay, so these will be a little more, a little less bright. But I am going to have a little bit of light hit the top of it there, but not down here. And I'm going to have to fan brush it. I might be sacrificing a fan brush for this, but just so it doesn't have too much texture. That pretty much just cost me a fan brush, but it's all good. Oh, I see, Tommy. Oh, thanks, Ingrid. Thanks, Ayush. Um, so, Ayush, hope I can pronounce your name properly. Ayush was my fan brush. Shout out to you from over here in Beltsville, Maryland. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the virtual painting sessions. Hey, Charles Ward, I think some of the green and red details should be on the coat to tie in with the hat. Uh, I feel like if I put too much green and red, um, you know what's going to happen. It's going to be kind of uh, like too much of one particular holiday. When I think what we're going for is a wintry season. I'm from the US. Hey Ardish, I'm from Delaware. When the virus is over, we'd love to watch in person. Yeah, we can definitely do a meet and greet um, for those that want to meet me in person once the pandemic is over. What's up, black and white? Okay, so now that I put all of that in, I think it's starting to come to life a little more. Hey, me and you and I, I still vote for the fur coat, add a grayish highlighted effect and oh yeah, mm, let's see, alright, I can get that.
gray silverly s silverly fur collar uh oh no political stuff here uh, hmm never done this before yeah, yeah we can't have any political stuff we cool though. Are we cool? And yeah, let's put the fur. Kind of a gray, grayish fur. Hey, yeah, you're so thank you. No hard feelings, Tony. Just we gotta be careful with any political talk or names or anything here, because you know. You know how it is. And now a little bit of a shadow there, and it should be good to let dry. Uh, this is 11 by 14 inches. So Tony, what do you think about the uh, kind of fur texture that we're putting there? I mean, it's very, it's probably not even noticeable. What does everyone think in general of the new additions to uh, the background in this painting? This has the most uh, elaborate background, I think. No problem, Tony. Uh, so serious question, what does everyone think about the new background additions to this? Because the first time, the first sitting was mainly focused here. Um, next time on Wednesday, we're going to put all kinds of details here and here to take this to a finish. But what does everyone think about the new additions to the background? Hey, John, dude. Oh, thank you. Less is more, the fur will make her aurora pop off that two-dimensional surface. Oh yeah, yeah, if I put too much for the fur, it will distract. That's true, that's true. Hey Steven, oh good, I'm glad that the background is working. Monique, the, it's not as noticeable. The, the fur over here. Yeah, it's like barely... It's just a few brush marks there. I, I don't want to put too much for it, though. The underpainting is still showing in the edge of the jacket. It's showing over here. Hmm. Here? Could be. I, I have to cover that. Uh, back to my usual art joke. What did the first layer say to the second layer? <laughs> what did the what did the second layer, sorry, of your painting say to your first layer? Ah, why can't I get this right? 
I can't get the joke right. Hmm. I guess I must be tired. I'm trying to remember that joke. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. I had an art joke that I said a while ago, but I just, it slipped my mind. And I paint pretty much every day, everyone. Uh, pretty much every day. I work At this point now, I'm working seven days a week. With some half days off. So if I sound a little out of it, like tired, I apologize. After this, I'm just going to post my online lesson for my students and then probably watch a little bit of Netflix and then fall asleep at like 2 a.m. Yep, that's true. Uh, using Winsor Newton alkyds and one Rublev was put in there, but it, it's all kinds of paint, really. Winsor Newton, Old Holland. Um, we have Rublev in there. We have Williamsburg. Hey, black and white, did you see my comment about the weight of the hat? Uh, hmm, I don't know if I, I'm going to see if I can scroll to find it. No, I can't find it. It must be like, it's hard for me to find it in the, oh, okay. Uh, the hat seems heavy. Hmm. That, I don't know. I think it's probably because I don't have anything showing here. So maybe it looks heavy because there's nothing here. I could very vaguely put some of the background here. I don't know. What does everyone think about that? Oh, the, Edward, you got it. What did the third layer say to the second layer? Your underpainting is showing. <laughs> oh, that's the artist knee slapper. So what did the third layer say to the second layer? Your underpainting is showing, buddy. That's the art joke. <laughs> knee slapper. Good job, Edward. Thanks for remembering what we said. Hey Tony, you think the hat's perfect? What's wrong with it? Uh, I don't know. I think it's alright. I think this is now in a good place to let dry for Saturday. Saturday, we're going to glaze to a finish over here. Put some details in the background. Maybe some extra brush strokes for the fur over here. Some little bit of this, little bit of that. In the background, but mostly glazes uh, to adjust the coloring of the face. But this will be uh, available as a special sale on Saturday. So if you've been watching this the whole time and you're interested in owning this painting that you've seen developed, it will be available on Saturday. And let me just cover, <laughs> let me cover the underpainting here. Make sure your our underpainting isn't showing. You gotta pull up the uh, paint so that your underpainting isn't showing, you know. But yeah, uh, Tony has uh, my approval. And 
yes, of course, let's remember to say congratulations to Monique and I. Monique did purchase this painting during the stream as a special sale. Monique, uh, please uh, let me know which uh, print you would like. Not only, Monique, are you going to receive this painting that you have purchased, but you will also, Monique, you will also receive a free painting study on a sheet of canvas. So Monique in the box you'll also receive and maybe that one, and maybe this one, and maybe this one, but you will receive a free painting study signed, a uh, painting study by me on a sheet of canvas, and you'll also receive a uh, a free print. So let me know which print you'd be interested in, Monique. Hey Charles, uh, needs more contrast between the background and the hat. Background and the hat. Oh, I could add a little more of the lead and white. Huh? Oh, Tony, yeah, the painting that Monique just purchased. Uh, Tony, uh, Tony definitely knows his stuff. Uh, so uh, again, this is the painting that Monique will be receiving in the mail very soon. This is one of my self-portraits that I created uh, before my quarantine hair set in. Now, of course, everyone, I don't know, for, for me, I had family cut my hair for a while, and then I just, just let it happen. Just, just let it happen. <laughs> the red red hair with the green background if possible. Alright, let me double check. Which one? Uh, what the, what's the name of the painting, uh, Monique, that you would like to print for? It's not this one, right? I think you bought a print of this one already. I think you have this one. Uh, I'm trying to remember which print you were interested in, Monique. Or if you're interested in more stickers, we can put more stickers in there. Hey, Tony, you see yellow, yellow hues on there? Uh-oh. Alright, so what I'm going to do while everyone is conversing, I'm going to add a little bit more of the flake white and blue alkyd, flake white and blue alkyd to the edge here to provide a little more contrast. You see, now hopefully the hat will There'll be more contrast between the background and the hat with that addition. Oh yeah, that's the one that you have. Hey Steven, I cut the sides of my hair myself. I I now look like uh, Jack Nicholson from The Shining. My wife wasn't happy. Yeah, I don't think anyone, uh, no one that's in my small circle here likes my hair. That's w one of the reasons I always wear the hat. Even when I'm not filming, I'm wearing a hat now. Darken the hat? Uh, 
Oh, you're referring to the study. Oh, Monique. Oh, okay, hold on. So it's not this one. Oof, that one. That one, no one's getting. That one came out terrible. This this, this one's going to go go to a, a paper shredder. Um, let's see if I can find it. You mean this? You mean this one, Monique? Oh, you want the insight print. Okay. Is this the study that you were referring to? For the, I mean, it's supposed to be random, but if this is the one you like, I can include this one. This one was painted this year, I believe, so I still have, I'm going to sign it 2020 over here. Um, so yeah, let's see. So Monique, is it, I, I'm wondering if this is the one that you were talking about. This was also painted on, in a YouTube video. So I'm just waiting on confirmation for um, Monique. So did we get the, we got the, the yes for, that's the one? Oh good, good, alright, you got it. You've got it, Moni. You'll get this one and the box. This is an 8x10. I'm going to sign it over here. This was painted on YouTube in 2020 as a paint along. So I'm going to sign it over here. And you got it. And I'll look for the print of Insight. Okay, Tony. Da -da -da -da. Tony. Drum roll. Drum roll, everybody, with your paintbrushes. Drum roll. The new moderator drum roll goes to Tony Stark. You have been added as a moderator. Drum roll. Hooray, we have a new moderator. Tony, you are officially moderator now. And yeah, we should paint together in person someday. Obviously, once the pandemic is over. Since you know Matt Zoll, you know Paulden, so you know the art circle around me. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, Monique. Yeah. I'm glad that you like that one. And you'll be getting that one very soon. Along with the self-portrait, of course. So, uh, update on the brush. They're, the brushes, they're working great. Um, a lot of wear and tear is not that noticeable yet so again I still need to paint with these brushes sometime before I recommend them but I gotta say they are really good brushes <laughs> yeah welcome Toby okay uh, oh thank you remember we're gonna be finishing this on um, on Saturday not complete yet we're, but wait, there's more. We're going to continue this on Saturday. Hey, Monique, can I see my entire list of moderators? I don't know. If I can, I, I don't know. i got to figure out how. But as usual, everyone, I'm going to be cleaning off the brushes. And uh, consider this our dedicated questions and answers time. So please feel free to ask me anything in the comments. Uh, and I'll just be over here cleaning off the brushes. Hey, money. No, I don't know. I don't remember. That must have been like from way back when these streams started. I don't really remember. Hey, Anna Lynn. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we do need a list of the moderators. I believe Donda is still a moderator. He's the he was the first moderator. Back before I knew what moderators even were.
Uh, Dondo, he, yeah, he took a little internet break. He was also protecting us from, uh, a battle of the trolls that was going on. Like I said, these brushes are holding up pretty well. They're not the highest quality brushes. They are starting to show some wear and tear, but not too noticeable yet. Alright, so now, um, kind of, I miss my palette knife. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. So please feel to feel free to ask me any questions you have. Yep. Take care, Stephen. Oh wow, it must be really late for you where where you are in your time zone. And Julie, it must be really late for you too. It's probably like almost two a.m. over there. Hey, uh, Jesus Manuel Diaz Sanchez, what's up? As I said, everyone, Wednesdays are the longest, just because there's so much that needs to be done. Remember, most of the work really happens in the middle stages. And what I'm going to do is take these old Hollands and the Williamsburgs and uh, put them in a container and put the container in the freezer. I'm not just going to leave them. I'm not going to leave an old Holland uh, paint thingy here overnight and let it dry. That, that's, that's not what I'm about. I can do that with the Griffin Alkids, that's fine, but not, not the old Hollands. You know, it's like when you're driving like a BMW or a Mercedes or something. You're going to park it a little bit further away so nobody hits the side of the door. It's an analogy to not letting the expensive paints dry on the palette. Not losing the expensive paints, that's what I mean. Angered. Oh, it's 9.30 p.m. over there. No, it's 9.14 over here. Hey, black and white. My hand has been messed up for some time. I think it's an exercise. Um, it was a exercise uh, mistake. So, like a pull-up or a push-up done wrong. Uh, but it's all good. It's all good, yeah. It was from an um, exercising uh, mistake. I pu must have pulled something with my wrist. And I just never gave it time to heal, so now it's like locked in place with a wrist brace. Although moving it kind of hurts, but it's all good. Alright. I'm trying to read what you wrote. That's kind of complicated for me. Uh, Maureen, esa se llama Crisala se hace solo con tre mm. tremendia y seca muy rápido para luego poner capas de color llamadas veladuras. Uh, I'm, what I'm trying to figure out from that comment is 
about the drying time, I did use an alkyd medium and some alkyd uh, fast dryers in the mix to ensure that this dries uh, by Saturday. Hey, hard dry. Yeah, it probably is a sprain. Oh gosh, though, Cassie's just joking. Okay, everyone's tired now. Everyone's tired. It's time to go to sleep. For some of us, it's probably close to 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Uh, for for others, like for me, it's 9.16 p.m. But I've also been working since like 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, his Swiss Panuel. Yeah, that's Ella Prima style, meaning painting wet on wet. All right. Okay. Uh, thanks, everyone. And remember to say a say congratulations to Monique. And of course, congratulations to Tony for being a new moderator. So again, uh, so many thank yous to you. Monique for purchasing the special sale uh, for today. One of the one of my uh, self portraits done earlier in the year. You will be receiving this soon, along with the painting study that you selected and an art print. So again, thank you so much, everyone. I wish you the very best in all of your artwork. Remember that I am teaching online classes that start at $10 a month, get you access to all of the pre-recorded videos in the online classes. I think we're up to like week, 50, not week, um, lesson 54. I upload three lessons a week, one virtual classroom a week, another behind the scenes video each week, and we also have the Zoom group tutoring tier and the Zoom one-on-one -on -one tier. Uh, so it all begins with the $10 a month, then if you continue to upgrade, you have more and more benefits on my Patreon. Also remember that I am streaming on Twitch now, mainly um, drawing videos, charcoal drawing videos. We're doing a lot of master studies. I feel like we're going to draw all of the portraits on Google Arts and Culture of uh, Rembrandt and Diego Velasquez and maybe even Sargent, uh, because we're going to be doing these three days a week. Remember, uh, Twitch, my username is upari underscore artist, just because you can't put spaces in Twitch for some reason. And again, 2 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. And here on YouTube, we are streaming 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till who knows when. Uh, like I said, Wednesday is usually the longest one. That being said, thank you so much, everyone. I wish you the absolute very best in all of your artwork. And, of course, I will see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Hold up. Encore. Uh, we got a question from Black and White. Can I ask a Twitch question? Yep, I'm still here. Uh, Black and White, you have a question about Twitch? Of course. What's the question, buddy? You got it. Um, I'm here. What's the question? Which charcoal is better and why? That's a very subjective question, but I'll tell you. I like to use... Um, large, uh, see this, this is a large thing in here, of uh, soft willow charcoal. I like to use soft willow charcoal. But it, when it comes to brands, this is the one, whoops, microphone getting in my way. This is the brand that I like, uh, Grimbacher for charcoal. Um, soft willow charcoal, you can also use soft vine charcoal. 
Ex this is extra soft vine charcoal, but I will tell you my favorite is soft willow charcoal. That's my favorite charcoal to use. So I hope that answers your question. Oh, and the reason, right, you asked for why. Because it's easier to cover with extra soft charcoal. It's much easier to cover and mass and do all of those things. So hopefully that answers your question, uh, black and white. Oh, also, 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 thank you so much, everyone, for the super chats today. I think this is the most super chats I've ever had on uh, on one of the streams, the, the most number of super chats added. So thank you so much, everyone, that also sent me a super chat. Uh, very, very, very much appreciate all of your support here on YouTube. Yep, no problem. Alrighty, take care everyone. I'll see you again on the next one.